no words could describe like that moment. Uh, you know, just after watching the draft and everything and not hearing my name get called it, you know, it hurt a little bit, but just uh, get a call from Coach Amber and she just showed so much interest for me to come to her camp. I was just so excited, uh, just sitting there talking to my mom and I just knew, you know, everything happens for a reason and that it would be a great opportunity for me. So I was excited and that next day I was back in the gym working on my game so I could be prepared for camp. Just from day one, I just knew that I had to do the little things, uh, separate myself and I knew I had to work a little harder because, you know, I was in a different position than everybody else. But just making sure that I was bringing 100% effort every day consistently and uh, just being engaged in everything that we did. So that was my main focus. The one thing that I did was just listening to everything that Coach Amber and the assistants uh, were telling us and make sure that I was doing everything. They're patient, but also they know that uh, it's a process and we have to you know, keep working along to stay on the right track. But uh, they're very helpful with anything that I need, uh, especially on the court with questions and everything, especially know that I'm a rookie and this is a transition from college. So they're very supportive and uh, I'm grateful for them. Being here from Chicago, born and raised, and being able to play for our team here. And you know, this year is special because we're downtown. It's a new location. We have a very young team and uh, we started the season off really strong and just doing everything that we can do to make sure that we stay on the right path. So just make sure that we're going hard in practice every day, uh, me helping out my teammates, encouraging, just doing little things and I think that will carry over in the long run. I remember the home opener like it was yesterday, all my family and friends were there. Uh, just coming out of the tunnel and hearing, you know, my family and friends calling my name, uh, it's just a great feeling. And, uh, and they know, my family know how, how hard I've worked to get here. So I feel no pressure, like when I'm out there, I'm just focused on, you know, our game plan, our strategy, just being, you know, with the team and doing everything we can to, you know, secure the win. My um, high school coach, Corey Irvin, uh, and her husband, Mac, uh, he was our AAU coach and she was my high school coach. So we, I was with, around them all the time and I still talk to them to this day. I was actually with them uh, a few days ago. It was just good to be around them and I saw some, some current players that they are now playing and you know, just when they look at me, I could tell they're like, man, like she's in the league and I know her. One thing I wanna do is, is go back to my high school and um, definitely just give them you know, advice, encouragement to let them know that they can do whatever they put their minds to. One piece of advice that I would give uh, would probably be is have great character, a positive attitude. I think that will go a long way, uh, especially with having talent for myself, adding my talent and then being a respectful woman and having high character. I think that will, it will always take me a long way, regardless of whatever path that I'm on. When I was a little kid, I'm like, man, I want to play in the WBA or I want to be like this player or that player. but. Now it's like I'm here and I'm sure it's players that are younger looking up to us. So uh, every day that I'm here, I'm grateful and I'm going as hard as I can because uh, it's just a rare opportunity that you get sometimes to go undrafted and make the roster. So happy to be with the sky. <laughs> yeah.